don't settle for fakes. My dual taining is the real deal. Okay. Hey everyone, it's, it's MechLords, and this time I have uh, freed myself from the grasp of Extra Shodi, and I am the one subjugating him to uh, my own uh, personal hell, which is uh, dueling squiz, Yu-Gi-Oh quizzes, I guess, in general, uh, for no reason at all. There are manacles around my legs. I do not know how I got here, but by God, this is real. It is, and uh, you, you're known for one deck, right, um, Battery Man? But you're also known for your AC Flame knowledge. So I'm gonna test that out today. See how well you know these cards that you claim to love so much. Um, okay, so oh, no. first question: What's the name of this card? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Hazy Flame Basil Triss. Hazy Flame Basil Triss. Final answer. Yes. Okay. Well. We'll see. It is. Hooray! It is AZ Flame Basil Triss. Good I'm job. Do you know? Do you know why it's named that? Presumably because it's neither a basilisk nor a cockatrice. Oh shit! I didn't even think about that. Did you know there is another card named Basil Triss? It's part of the Evil Eye archetype. No way. Really? They just released it with the uh, new series of support the deck got, including turning the evil eyes into a pair of cool goggles. I refuse to acknowledge the existence of evil eye. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> now it's evil eyes. Question 2. How many different AC Flame monsters can you summon with Rekindling? Uh, um, there's Cerberus and maybe one other. I'm gonna say two. Two? That's your final answer? Yes. Uh, shit, actually I should probably uh, keep keep track of your score. I don't have a pen or anything. Fuck, <laughs> I didn't plan this through. Okay, I just grabbed a uh, metro ticket and a pen. So you have one point. Shit, this pen doesn't work. Okay, hold on. Okay, so if you have one point. So you said two, right? Correct. Okay, well we'll see. And actually, unfortunately, it's three. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot about Hydra. I knew Hydra. Hippogriff was one. Yeah, but Hydra is as two hundred defense too. So that's that's not a point. You only have one point for for, for now. I'm and something's 50%. gonna happen if you don't get enough points. So mm -hmm. watch out. Question three. Okay, so I have Insecta Exabeetle equipped with AZ Flame Cerberus, and I rank up into Digital Bog Rhinocebus. Do I get a search of of the AZ Flame Cerberus effect because it got destroyed? If you had watched the previous video we've just recorded that does not exist yet, you would know the answer. And the answer is no, you do not. Hazy Flame Cerberus misses the timing. Which is a very stupid rule, but uh, yeah, spoiler alert, you're right. It doesn't, doesn't get a search. That's there a is one point. way to get... There is one way to get a search with Exabeetle and uh, by equipping Cerberus. And the way you do that is if your opponent has a face-up card. What you do is you use Exabeetle's effect, detach a material, target itself and your opponent's card, and send both to the graveyard. Since Act that's the last thing that happens, and uh, Cerberus dies at the same time, hmm. then you'll get a search. Actually, there's another way that you didn't even think of. Oh. You play Paper Yu-Gi-Oh! and you cheat. Oh. You just cheat. Just cheat. Oh man. <laughs> you gotta be an Infernity player to know okay. those strats. This is a new section that I call Real or Fake. I'm gonna show you 80 playing cards that I did on Yu-Gi-Oh! Cardmaker, so they all look fake. But the question becomes, is this a real card or a fake card? I could've changed anything about the card, the attribute, uh, the artwork. No, I didn't change the artwork. Uh, but the, any part of the text. So you gotta, you gotta really look and, and, and analyze and, and tell me if this AZ Flink thinks is real or not. Okay. Alright, so I'm seeing that there's no copyright or set number. That would be suspicious. No, none of them are, because I didn't bother to do it on Cardmaker. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the first thing you would think is Sphinx. That's not spelled with a Y. That's actually part of the card name, though. They're all misspelled in really dumb ways, except for Periton, and I don't know what the deal is. So, first things first, it is a... Level 5 monster, that's very sus. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that's not quite right. Why did I say sus? And so it's real word. Mm -hmm. And now I need to look and see what else is wrong with the card. Okay, I'm not gonna waste your time. I've only changed one thing, though. So. Okay, then it's just the level. <laughs> it's just the level? Is that, is, mm -hmm. that, is that... So you're saying this is a fake card? Yes. I will see. 
It is a fake card because Sphinx is level 6. You sussed it out. Good job. All so right. that's the third point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this Hypergriff real or fake? Let me take... Oh, Alright, let's take a look. You don't, And you, we... you can't look at real cards, <laughs> by the way. That's a that's an unspoken rule. You can just cheat, like I've said you to you. Do you, I'm uh, not an yeah. Infernity player. I wouldn't <laughs> do that. Or specifically, I'm not an Infernity TCG player. All right, so let's go through the checklist. We confirmed it was summonable by, summonable by Rekindling, so the 200 defense checks out. It is a level 6 fire monster. It is Pyro. Can't target with Tart effects. Once per turn, tribute another fire monster. And it gains 300 attack. Yeah, it all looks good. It all looks good. I'm going to go ahead and say this is real. Final answer? Final answer. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to see. It is real. Right. That is what the real card probably looks like. Mm -hmm. Next it's question. Such a bad card. AC Flame Manticore. You've probably played this one. This one is decent. All right. Um, let's see. Winged Beast. That's right. Level six fire. Good so far. Can't target. Yeah. This looks like how I remember it. Three hundred defense. Twenty-two hundred attack. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is real. Final answer. Final answer. Love seeing this. Uh, but unfortunately, it's fake because it says oh. accept this card in the card text. Oh, <laughs> dang. That's a very specific thing. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot that you couldn't do the um, suicide to protect it from card effect strategy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Next card Hazy Flame Hydra. Right. Okay. This one's newer. I haven't played this one so much. Okay, stats pretty. Look about right, 2302. Oh, this is probably gonna trip me up with some specific wording um, on how they do this. When is it? <sighs> Everything looks right, but I don't know if it's if it is exceeds summoned and not when it is exceeds summoned. Uh, I am gonna say this is real. Is it? That's well, what I'm going with. Uh, you're wrong. It's a dinosaur, not a reptile. Ah, I forgot! <laughs> you can summon this with Miscellaneousaurus. <laughs> can, what, you can? You can, Oh eventually. yeah, you can. Oh, banish your entire grave you just to summon the level 6 guy. That's very mm -hmm. funny. Okay, last one. Hazy Flame Griffin. Mm -hmm. Alright. We talked about this in the uh, video that uh, isn't out mm -hmm. yet, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if it is out, right. you should go on Extra Shorty's channel to, to check it out, because it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Not going to get tripped up again. It is a winged beast. It does have 200 attack and 2100 defense. Stats, uh, attribute, and level look right. If your opponent controls a monster, and all the monsters, if any, are in the side of your field and graveyard are fire. Is the, uh, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects at the end of the card or the beginning? Oh no. Because all the others are at the start. I'm at the risk of running into a rake again. I'm going to say this one is fake, if only because the card text for your opponent cannot target this with card effects should be at the beginning. That's your <laughs> that final is my answer. final answer. All right. It's real. God. <laughs> I knew it. All I knew right. I was going to mess up somewhere there. But I'll leave it at that. Next question. What's the name of this card? I think it is Hazy Flame. Periton? Well, let's find out. Periton these nuts. God. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have any more questions about Hazy Flames to ask you. Oh no, I failed. Okay, solve this equation for x. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, so x is equal to 3. x is 3. Final yes. answer. You're right. x is Hooray. equal to 3. Okay. Uh, did you know that sphinxes are from Egyptian mythology? I knew this. There's also some other... They also show up in other parts of Mediterranean mythology with vague differences, if I remember correctly. But I think I knew that. 
Um, wrong, it's from Greek Mythos. It's not the Egyptian. Okay, I was half right. I'm gonna give you half a point. Hooray. Uh, okay. Uh, how many AZ, flame, AZ cards can be targeted by card effects? I'm gonna say a pro gamer move here. All of them, but not by your opponent. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I put three if you count the back room, but actually you're right. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm wrong. I'm gonna give you a point and a half for that. So you have All right. a square score again. Uh, uh, one monster can be targeted, and that's um, uh, Basil Triss without enough materials. Okay, what's my real name? Okay, Mr. Lord. Um, no, it's not. Okay, sounds about right. right. That's not correct. Okay, mm -hmm. this is a nice card. I don't disagree. It is. Uh, it looks kind of cool. Why is that? Like, there's no purple or blue AZ Flame card, right? They were playing. They were planning future support, but they couldn't incorporate it into the color scheme, so they gave up. Ah, uh, that's a shame, because you could easily make a blue flame kind of guy. That's yeah. a shame. Uh, anyway, yes, it is a uh, very nice card. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, do you remember the first card decklist that you shared on Duel Links meta? Um, yes, I believe it was, um, it was like December of 2021, I think. And I think it had, um... Uh, I was still running Primitive Butterfly. I think I was running uh, three Misk, two Elo, and um, was I running three Jet Synchron? I might have been. Um, I don't. Yeah, Veil would have been a card at the time. I think I was using Veil over Prep Defense then. Prep Defense? What is it? What is this card? Prep Defense is a super heavy samurai card that does the oh, same thing yeah, as Veil. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember the uh, green guy. Yeah. Yep. That's how refers to cards by that that colors. Um, actually, I think go away, Jesus. I think you're right. You did mention the uh, primitive butterfly. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no veil. There's the um, grandma Landro. vassal, which is very yep. funny. Landro, uh, Miss whip Halo, and you also played one AZ flame. Uh, AZ, yeah. what's it called? AZ pillar. Sorry. AZ pillar. Yeah. It's a it's a really cool deck list. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna give you the point just because this deck list is cool. Mm, thank you. Okay, uh, that's the end of the uh, quiz. So how many points do you have? Do you know? Uh, um, let's see. I missed almost all of the uh, identifying the cards. So that's a solid three to four points gone. Uh, what else did I miss? Um, I'm going to say I have 10 to 13 points. Uh, no, actually you have six to nine points. Oh no. So you tried. I really did. Yeah, you really did. Uh, but the uh, next next thing would have been nice. Okay. So, you know, you're, you're in between you trying and night in my heart. So, um, <laughs> that's decent, I guess. And that's the end of the video. Also, I don't have any more things to share. Uh, hope okay. you had fun. Um, this has been a really... This has been fun for me, just to trip you over. You searching, like, the proper way effects are ordered and me being like, no, I, it's a real card. <laughs> it's how it always trips me up. If you get it wrong enough, you'll start doubting it when it's right. Exactly, that's the psychological warfare thing. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you everyone for watching. Go to Extra Shorty's channel and, and say something nice about him. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, take care everyone. See you, see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for Goodbye. Thank you for having me on your video. Watch my videos. I'll kidnap you too. Oh yeah, I said bye-bye before I'm actually <laughs> sending you up. Um, thank you for being part of this with me. Uh, the video that we did together, the gameplay one, is really fun. You should watch this. This is the longest outro ever. <laughs> take, care, <laughs> take care once again, everyone. Um, kiss your own cheek, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.